My mom told me never to punch anybody out. Friend came over. He asked for it. I got it all on video. I punched him out. But it all was good. He left happy. Let me show you the video of what happened. Welcome back to Spanky's at Home in the Garage. Today, we're going to help out a buddy that's got a vintage funny car. They race all over the country, and they've got a toter home, and the generator is getting hot. So we're going to punch some louvers in a panel that goes over the door for the generator box. We're going to take a look at the funny car before we get out of here and show you some stuff on that. So before you go anywhere, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up, help this channel grow. We sure appreciate it. We have nothing but hot rod content around here. Hot rods, funny cars, vintage automobiles. So let's get to the day's project. If we get enough likes and comments on this video, then we'll take a short ride right down the street to my buddy's house and give you a full blown tour of the funny car and the inspiration behind it. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is clean this thing up really good and lay out our louvers. You've seen me do that before. If you're interested, stick around. We're gonna have fun today. All right, so let's get this cleaned up and then we're gonna spray it down with our dye. All right, so we got it clean. Now we're laying it, uh, the layout die on it, and we're gonna start trying to figure out how many rows of louvers we can get on this panel and how far we can go within our boundaries of where we're trying to stay. It's very important. You don't wanna put something down that uh, you can't get back out because once you punch it, it is punched. All right, so we're almost there and it is time to uh, start punching some louvers, but first we need to do a little bit of cleaning. All right, so because it's really going to be hard to do this after the louvers are punched, there's a lot of scuffs and stuff on this side. We'll go ahead and knock off the front side and give it a brushed aluminum look. Now, if you never had to sand around louvers or scuff around louvers, then uh, you might not understand why I'm doing this now. But louvers will eat your skin and knuckles a lot. So it's best to do as much of this cleanup work as you can before you start punching those louvers in there. You can always go back and touch up any scratches, and there will be some scratches in this aluminum later, but let's get 95% of it done now. All right, I got the old contour machine out. Hit it with the uh, red Scotch-Brite just to knock down some of the spots, make it a lot easier after it's louvered. All right, now here we got this side done. This is the grid that we lay out to punch the louvers. And I've got a little arrow marked where the first few louvers are. This is the center of one louver. This is the center of a louver, and that'll be the center of a louver. So it'll be three rows going down. We'll skip a spot right here where the latch is. And then uh, let's see what this is gonna do. Well, here's a quick look at the back side where we laid out the grids. And you can see how important they are to keep everything straight. 
and go in the right direction. Let's check out the other side. Does anybody know how many louvers are punched in this? I don't. All right, there we go, guys. There's the pretty side. And it's gonna keep that generator cool, which is gonna keep the guys on the inside cool because of the AC unit on the roof. What do you think? Does anybody else like louvers? Well, Ricky, thanks a lot, buddy, coming over. I hate that when my friends come over, I have to punch them out like that. But hey, punching a friend is great when it's all about hot rods. Now run on over to spankyshotrods.com and pick you up one of these beautiful t-shirts. Let's get back to the show. For those of you that are fighting the heat, the ones that are fighting the storms, I'm praying for you guys. Stay safe, stay inside, but most of all, get out in the garage and go build something. See you guys in the next episode. Spanky's gone.